welcome to the next chapter money maths in previous classes you have studied about simple interest isn't it we know the formula for simple interest as i is equal to p n r by 100 where p denotes principal that is the amount deposited n stands for number of years and r stands for rate of interest now in 8th standard we are going to study about one more type of calculating interest that is compound interest okay here interest is added to the principal at the end of each and every year okay look at the problem in page number 100 the first question sandeep deposited 25000 rupees in a bank which pays 8 percentage interest compounded annually how much would he get back after 2 years here the amount deposited 25000 is the principal value p and 2 years is number of years and 8 percentage is the rate okay come to the question first of all let us write the principal value okay so we say amount for the first year amount deposited is equal to 25000 for this amount 25000 sandhi would be getting interest for the first year so let us calculate the interest for the same one okay children so here i am writing interest for first year we are given interest rate is 8 percentage so we have to write interest as 8 percentage of 25000 let us simplify this value we get 8 by 100 into 25 1000 we can cancel the denominator zeros with the numerator zeros now we get 8 into 250 that gives you 2000 rupees so 2000 is the interest for the first year okay now at the end of the first year what happens this interest is added to the principal value so we can say the amount at the end of the amount at the end of first year or we can say the amount amount for second year we are talking about the amount for the second year so we get 25000 plus 2000 which gives you 27000 so this is the amount at the beginning of the second year our question is we have to find out how much he get after 2 years so for the second year let us calculate the interest so i have to write interest for second year is equal to 8 percentage of 27000 that is equal to 8 by 100 into 27000 two zeros cancels with these two zeros so we get 8 into 270 which gives you 8 into 00 78 sir 56 five balance 16 21 so we get rupees 2160 so at the end of 2 years our sandeep would be getting 27000 rupees plus 2160 rupees so we can write the amount at the end of 2 years amount at the end of 2 years is equal to 27000 Added to 2160, that gives you rupees 
Let me write the answer here. The answer is rupees 29,160. Hope the idea is clear to you. At the end of two years, someday we will be getting 27,000 plus 2,160 which is equal to 29,160 rupees. Is it okay children? Look at the second question. Thomas took out a loan of 15,000 rupees from a bank which charges 12% interest compounded annually. After two years, he paid back 10,000 rupees. To settle the loan, how much should he pay at the end of three years? Let us begin with the principal value for the first year. First year, he is taking a loan of 15,000 rupees. Now, we have to find out the interest for this amount. So, I can write interest for the first year. So, I am writing I1 is equal to interest for the first year is equal to 12% of interest for the first year is 12% of 15,000. That is equal to 12 by 100 into 15,000. If you simplify, two zeros cancels with two zeros. 12 into 15 gives you 180. So you get 1,800 rupees as our interest. Do you understand children? Interest for the first year is 12 into 150 which gives you 1,800. Now this is the amount for the second year. That is the principal value added to the interest gives you the principal value for the second year. So I can write it as P2 that is principal for the second year. So you get 15,000 added to 1,800 that is equal to you get two zeros 8 5 plus 1 6 so 16,800 is the principal for the second year. Now we have to calculate the interest for this amount. So I can write I2 is equal to 12 by 100 of 16,800. Now we can cancel two zeros with this two zeros. And now let us multiply 168 with 12. 168 with 12. 8 2 are 16. 12 plus 1, 13. 1 balance, 2 plus 1, 3. And here you get 8, 6 and 1. Add the two numbers, you get 2016. So, interest for the second year is 2016. Now you are given, he has paid 10,000 rupees at the end of 2 years. So, we have to find out the remaining amount. Now, at the beginning of the third year, we can say P3 is equal to add these two numbers. That is 16,800 added to 2,016. If you add the two numbers, you get 6, 1, 8, 6 plus 2, 8, 1. From this amount, we have to subtract 10,000 rupees because he has paid 10,000 rupees after 2 years, isn't it? So, let us subtract 10,000 rupees. So, what remains is 8,816 rupees. Now, only for this amount, he will have to pay the interest, isn't it? So, let me write I3. I3 is the interest for the third year. So, I3 will be equal to 12 by 100 of 8,816. Now here you cannot cancel the term. So what we can do? Multiply these two numbers and divide it by 100. Okay children? So you get 8816 multiplied with 12. 6 twos are 12. 1 balance. 2 plus 1, 3. 
16 by balance 16 plus 1 17. Here 6 by 8 8. Add the two numbers you get 2 9 7 15 1. So the answer is 1 0 5 7 9 2 divided by 100. Since the number is divided by two zeros, we can keep the decimal point before two digits. So we can say interest is 1057 rupees and 92 pence. Our question is to settle the loan. How much should he pay at the end of three years? So at the end of three years, he would be paying the principal value which is 8816 added to the interest. Interest is 1057.92. We can write it as 1058. Now add the two numbers. You get 14, 1 balance, 7, 8, 9. So we have to pay rupees. 9,874 to settle the law after 3 years. Hope it is clear to you. Look at the last question in this exercise. The simple interest at 5% got for a certain amount after 2 years is 200 rupees. If interest is compounded annually, what would be the interest for the same amount? at the same rate after 2 years. Children, here you are not given the amount. That we have to find out. Okay. See, we are given 5 percentage. It is nothing but the rate of interest. So, let me write R is equal to 5 percentage. And the number of years is given to be 2 years. So, I can write N is equal to 2 years. Also, you are given 200 rupees to be the simple interest. Okay. So, I can write I is equal to 200 rupees. Now, using R, N and I, we have to find out the amount which is deposited. That is, we are going to calculate P. We know P is equal to 100 I divided by N R. Did you understand how I wrote? Because we know the formula I is equal to P N R by 100. Now we are asked to find out P. So to find out P what we can do? We can keep P here and take these terms to the other side. 100 goes to the numerator. So you get 100 into I N R comes to the denominator. So I wrote N R. Now this is equal to 100 into interest is 200 rupees. Substitute that divided by number of years is 2 and rate of interest is 5. Now let us simplify this. If you cancel 1 2 is 2 we get 100 2 is 200. 1 5 is 5. 25 is 100. So you get 20 into 100 which is equal to rupees 2000. So we got the principal value as rupees 2000. Now you have to complete this problem by taking P value to be equal to 2000, rate to be equal to 5 percentage and number of years is equal to 2. Is it clear to you children? I hope you can do it by yourself. The next exercise we will be discussing in our next class. Thank you.